Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. So this exercise is called record collection. So what it wants us to do is that we have a prompt here and we want to write a function to meet this. And you're gonna see these kind of problems a lot, especially in coding interviews, where they give you a, a coding prompt and you have to understand what's is going on, what's the scenario and how you can write code to solve the problem. So you gotta get good and fast at reading prompts like these and understand what's going on. So we can see here, we're given an object literal here to represent a music album, okay? And each album has a unique ID, okay? And then each ID has a, and then each ID has a prop, like an artist or tracks and a value for it. And it wants us to complete the function here, where it has an ID, prop, and value. And then here's like an example of it. They pass through a function, the record collection, ID, prop, value. And then it wants us to return the records collection again. So we can look at this line by line and make sure that we write code that solves it. So your function must always return the entire record collection object. So this is the object passing through and at the end of it, we return the entire object. Okay, now second one, if. Now that we, when we see if, we see that we can think if else. So if prop is in tracks. So this is the case prop here is in tracks. So it does not equal to tracks, doesn't have this tracks. And value isn't an empty string. And we can just do quotations like these, this to indicate an empty string. We want to update or set the album's prop to value. So we got to get to that album by going to records, looking at the ID, and then looking at the prop and setting that equal to value. Great. Now the next one, if prop is tracks, so we can do an else if here, prop is equal to tracks this time, but the album doesn't have the tracks property. So how can we do that? We can do and, we can do the has own property method. So to see it, we go to records, looking at the ID, if that has own, property tracks. So if it doesn't have it, so if it's equal to false, we will have to create an empty array and add value to it. So we do records, looking at the ID, looking at the prop, and we're saying that equal to the array of value. Great, next one. So if prop is tracks, else if prop is equal to tracks and value isn't an empty string, add value to the end of the album's existing tracks array. So we need the push method. So to go to it, we do records ID prop, Not like that, but like this. Dot push. And we just push the value. Great. And lastly, else if value is an empty string, delete the given prop property. So records ID prop and we delete it. So we put that. And there we go. No, not reset, but great. So just take it one at a time, take your time to understand what it's asking and write code to solve it. Thank you so much.